Hi everybody, it is June 22nd, 2019. A Plain Truth just posted this video. Very important video. I received from a subscriber who asked me if I saw this. I didn't and I took a look at it and it doesn't surprise me at all. Many of us have been screaming how our country is no longer the same. We are not free. There has been a takeover. Everything militarized. The military performing their, uh, conducting their training exercises all over in urban cities. Oh, God, sorry, we didn't warn you ahead of time. Well, our black cops are flying all over and they are simulating uh, gunfire and bombs scaring the shit out of Americans. Uh, posse comitatus, Americans didn't care. Constitution, Americans didn't care. The uh, police state that was very obviously taking shape in our country, Americans didn't care. The surveillance of citizens, the cameras, surveillance cameras going up in all communities, I don't care. I have nothing to hide. The smartphone, uh, the collection of all data, emails, uh, phone calls, everything that you do on the internet, every search, every video, every comment. I don't care. I have nothing to hide. Well, guess what? You know, we are going China. Yes, this is a new world order where every citizen in every, oh wait, there won't be countries, where every individual will be tracked 24-7 every single day for their entire life. And you will be rated whether you're a good, good individual in, in, as a global citizen or not good. And San Diego and California actually points the way. This is coming to all of us. Now, I'm going to play a little bit of this video, and it should alarm every American. The military, the Marine Corps is partner, partnering with San Diego, their smart city. Yes, it is the military that is behind what is taking place. 5G, the millimeter wave, is that frequency that the military has been using forever. But we try to tell people, well, I don't care. I'll be able to get faster download. Yay! Well, this is the world that you are leaving to the younger generation, younger generations, and this is the world that you are leaving to your children. So here's what is happening in San Diego right now. Um, I'd like to welcome all of the military leaders who are joining us uh, here today. Uh, from the Marine Corps Installation Command, Major uh, General Vincent Colonnese, from Marine Corps Air Station Miramar, of course you all know uh, Colonel Dockery, uh, from Naval Facilities Southwest, Captain Mark Edelson. Around here somewhere. Right, right here. Yep. And, uh, and, uh, and, and many others who are, are joining us here today. As okay, this should, everybody in San Diego, you should be freaking out right now. Your mayor is introducing all of these military high ups. They are signing agreements we had posse comitatus for a reason, Americans. Look into it. Look into it. The separation between military and what is happening here domestically. Because when you have military on the street, when you have military who are monitoring the surveillance cameras and the lead lights in San Diego, that means you have a military takeover. I don't care. I'm not doing anything wrong. This 
Christmas. I think all of you know San Diego is a very proud military town. We boast the largest group of active duty and retired military personnel in the world. We're proud of that. We've also been great partners as the military ex has expanded here in San Diego over the past century. Today we're here to announce the next evolution in that partnership, which I'm going to get to in just a second. Technology is moving forward at a very rapid pace, and it's important for public agencies to be on the cutting edge for one simple reason, so we can deliver results for our constituents. Here at the City of San Diego, we have implemented, implemented several advanced technologies to improve city operations, customer service, and public safety since I took office. We've launched an open data portal with loads of data sets for the public to pursue and use. We have an online portal to make it easier to ask for and receive public records. We've installed over 3,000 smart streetlights that reduce energy costs and help optimize traffic, improve public safety, and track air quality. The lead lights in San Diego. Ah, isn't it beautiful? They cause an awful lot of physical symptoms. They are very uh, dangerous for wildlife because these lights, a whole lot of wildlife don't know. Okay, wait a second, it should be dark. But now it looks like it's light out. Yes, uh, our technology is really screwing up all natural processes. A lot of people can't sleep. A lot of people are getting headaches from these street lights, these new LED lights. But yes, they spy on you. An outspoken critic of the mayor, and this was back in February 2019. Oh, yeah, an outspoken critic of the mayor departs her downtown condominium en route for her law office a few blocks away, monitored by an array of video cameras and audio sensors concealed atop the city's streetlights. Each day, the routine is the same, and each day, each minute detail of her activity is captured in a massive database for subsequent perusal by unknown actors. Everybody should be up in arms. A web of surveillance technology is rapidly spreading across our urban landscapes, ubiquitous public surveillance via its streetlights. But it's not just the streetlights. You see the cameras all over your community. You see the cameras on the interstate. You see the cameras on uh, public roads, on highways, cameras in stores, cameras all over, all over. Okay. You think this is because they want so much to improve the quality of your life? Please stop being a little child who is just, oh, mommy and daddy would never abuse me as they're abusing you. Okay, um, I'm not surprised. Nobody should be surprised. No one should be surprised that San Diego, their smart city, the sensor is all over the place. It's all to bring in what's happening in China, who is really at the forefront of this digital dystopia that all of us will be living and a whole lot of Americans they will they love their delusion oh no our government would never do that we're Americans we're free people as they're more and more enslaved every single day but I'm, I'm going to link below to everything you can watch everything but let's listen just a little bit more to this press conference and of course we launched the Get It Done smartphone app that allows San Diegans to easily report problems with GPS data. San Diego was recently named one of the world's smartest cities by National Geographic magazine in 2015, the only city in North America that was selected for that honor. And just last year, as I think many of you know, we were selected to participate in a pilot program by the U.S. Department of Transportation to advance testing of unmanned aircraft systems. And today, 
we are very happy to announce that the City of San Diego and the Marine Corps Installations Command will enter into a new memorandum of understanding to work together on smart city technologies as partners going forward. We will be meeting regularly to discuss smart city issues and as a start, develop action plans related to security, mobility, and public works. And I know that the Marine Corps has, has a particular interest in unmanned aerial systems and will be advocating to add the Marines to our list of 20 plus regional partners working on that pilot program. And I also know, of course, we were just talking about it with the general outside, the Marines have an interest in the city's Get It Done app and possibly utilizing that some way on their basis. This is all about collaborating for the betterment of the entire San Diego region. Uh, no, it really is not. All right, well, you guys in San Diego, you really should be very alarmed about what is taking place here. Hey, did you know that this was happening? You are now a city militarized. Yes, we are going to be sitting down with our Marine Corps to talk about security, to talk about, but look, it is in your face now the military is behind the smart city with the Internet of Things and 5G. And this is why this is so dangerous. But when we're loaded with a country, loaded with the people in a country that do not care about anything, they bring us all into this dystopia and that's what really should piss everybody off. All of those who just don't care about anything that's taking place. Now, they need to be confronted. So, I want to play just a few minutes of a video that I posted December 29, 2018. Hi guys. December 29, 2018. Didn't this year go fast? Isn't each year going faster and faster? What does that mean? It means that we are full steam ahead, faster and faster. Are these agendas being implemented? The smart city, wow. All right, I do want to point out that data has been collected on all of us for years. Surveillance cameras have been up and running all over the country and that data has been collected and stored so don't be surprised if your minor minor infractions come back to haunt you but i was just sent this uh, by a subscriber check it out this is what they can do wow so all those cameras on all streets and highways, the interstate, everybody's license is being collected. Should you swerve? Should you change a lane without putting a blinker on? There is no, you will have nowhere to hide in this new world the smart cities, everything digitized, all data being collected in real time. That's why they want 5G, get it rolled out, get all those sensors, which have been dumped throughout the years um, already. So the sensors are on streets, the sensors are on buildings, they're everywhere, they're on trees, they're in water, they're in lakes, they're in everything, everything. Every product that you buy is noted, the data collected, and your name is on that data. Everything that you have purchased is known. Yeah, it's, it's what really is scary is to recognize or to see how many people really truly don't care about what is taking place. It's it's like, oh my God. Um, well, it's been really easy to take over this country. 
a country filled with Americans that just refuse to believe that it could ever happen here. But this, this smart city, this 5G city is quite scary. So I'm going to link below to everything, all the videos and all the articles. Hundreds of police departments have secretly created public safety watches. What was that show? What was that? Facial recognition cameras all over. So the reason why I point this out is because you have to put it together with what is happening in China. There are so many videos, easy access to understand what's happening in China because that's what is happening here. The infrastructure, the 5G, no, it's not for speed and you're just going to love it because you can download a video in two seconds. It's hyper surveillance. That's what it is. This is the next groundbreaking development in data-driven technology, facial recognition. And in China, you can already withdraw cash, check in at airports, and pay for goods using just your face. The country is the world's leader in the use of this emerging technology. And China's many artificial intelligence startups are determined to keep it that way in the future. Companies like Yitu, We are pioneering artificial intelligence research and innovation in the hope of creating a safer, faster, and healthier world. And it is so not a safer world. To bring order, in 2016, Beijing installed a new strongman in Urumqi, Chen Quanguo, who was known for locking down Tibet, another rebellious region. In Xinjiang, Chen has taken his methods of mass control to a new level, turning the region into a laboratory for new surveillance technology. ID cards loaded with personal details are used to track people's movements. Residents have different levels of freedom based on factors like ethnicity and religious practices. Goods that are deemed dangerous are tightly controlled. If you want to buy a knife in this cutlery shop, for example, the purchase is tied to your ID as this salesman demonstrates. The system also tracks faces. An immense network of security cameras, some equipped with facial recognition, is constantly monitoring the streets. Facial recognition systems are also used to match people with their ID cards, everywhere from shopping malls to gas stations. Authorities use artificial intelligence that can alert them if someone in a video is walking too fast or parked in the wrong spot. The government has also massively increased human surveillance. It has recruited six times more policemen this year than it did in 2015. Cities are now dotted with brand new police booths, one every couple hundred yards in some Uyghur neighborhoods. For Tahir Hamad and his family, all of this was too much. So they fled to the U.S. Hamad is a poet and a filmmaker. He arrived in August and has applied for political asylum. To get out, Hamad bribed a doctor to make up a story. His daughter had to be treated for epilepsy in the U.S. Hamid says the situation in Xinjiang took a turn for the worse in the spring this year. Police started collecting massive amounts of detail about the lives of Uyghur residents. 
。这个表格呢，就是发到每一个人的手里。这边有有很多信息，他的民族成分、维吾尔族、无业人员、有护照、呃，每日礼拜。这是给人打分，判断这个人是放心人员，还是一般人员，还是不放心人员。Hamut and other Uyghurs in exile say people categorized as unsafe were sent to study centers for political education. We found one of the so-called schools buried down a rural road on the outskirts of Kashgar. It was newly built and looked more like a prison, with watchtowers and walls topped with razor wire. 这是说白了，就是集中营。这个时候就通过监控来指定，呃，抓什么样的人。The government didn't respond to our request for comment, but Hamid says many more people are being detained today than in the past. 很多人他不知道为什么被抓，不知道把他送到哪里，不知道什么时候放出来。In Xinjiang, China's experiment with surveillance isn't just about fighting terrorism; it's also about Xi Jinping's ambitions. One of the Chinese president's signature initiatives is to develop trade routes across Eurasia. In Xinjiang, it's considered key to its success. President Xi, I want to thank you. On top of that, Western leaders are reluctant these days to publicly challenge Xi Jinping on human rights. That means one thing: the surveillance state in Xinjiang is likely to keep expanding. Yeah, 就是梦见新疆，梦见乌鲁木齐。第二天醒来呢，一看，第二天醒来以后，我们觉得是在美国，很安全。No, you are not, sir. You are so not. You know, when I think about all of the information that so many here on YouTube have been posting for so long, that revealed where our country was going. No, none of this should be a surprise. That the military has literally taken over San Diego. It should not be a surprise to anyone. China has long been a surveillance state. Now, Big Brother meets Big Data. In trials across the country. Cameras and spyware are watching, mapping your digital footprint to every step you take. What you do, say, and even think is being monitored and marked against you. The party calls it social credit, a personal scorecard for 1.4 billion citizens, rewards for good behaviour and punishments for bad. It's not fully operational yet. But this report will show you a vision of China's dystopian future, the world's first digital dictatorship. China's cities are already flush with cameras, around 200 million of them. What's changing is they're getting smarter. China is positioning itself to lead the world in artificial intelligence. Surveillance technology is a key proving ground. Facial recognition, body scanning, and geo tracking, matched with your personal data and online behaviour, will power the social credit system, leaving no dark corner to hide in. At the World Intelligence Congress in Tianjin, Big Brother's new toys are on show. Several of the exhibitors here, including tech giant Alibaba, are now working with the state.
to write the algorithms that will calculate your social credit score. They've already got the know-how and the user data from their financial credit system, Alipay. Now, our government, and I posted a video on this, I think on Kafka Winston World, our government has purchased from China surveillance cameras and it was the number one import of surveillance cameras and our government was the biggest purchaser purchaser of all of those cameras that now are all over on streets in government buildings all over why did they purchase cameras from China Yes, and you hear Trump talking about not wanting to go with certain companies in China because, well, no, they spy. It's all a ruse. They want you to get to believe that Trump is going to keep you safe. You're not safe already. The infrastructure has already been developed. It's so easy. Yes, because Americans just want to believe Oh, you know, the, the bullshit that makes them feel comfortable. They don't want the truth of what is taking place in our country. And what is taking place? <laughs> our country already is so radically uh, changed. It has so radically transformed into a militarized police state. People are already being picked up. We've, we've seen so much, and all you have to do is connect all of it, and you go, okay, okay, we are heading in the same direction as China. And then say, do you really want to leave the younger generations with this? Is it not our responsibility to do something about it? We're screwed, guys. In some of China's largest cities, a high-tech effort is underway to bust low-level offenders, jaywalkers. Cameras record them going through intersections, zero in on their face, and then publicly shame them on nearby video screens. It's all part of the Chinese government's new social credit system, where people's daily behavior is monitored and rated. I think it's a good thing, this woman said. It makes people more honest. But this social credit rating goes far beyond a traditional credit score, which is based on your finances. China's version factors in everything from jaywalking to smoking on trains to buying too many video games. If your score gets too low, you can be banned from buying plane tickets, renting a house, or getting a loan. Nearly 15 million people have already been prevented from traveling. Journalist Leo Hu is one of them. He recently tried to book a flight but was told he couldn't because he was on the list of untrustworthy people. I can't buy property. My child can't go to private school, he says. You feel like you're being controlled by the list all the time. It can recognize more than 4,000 vehicles. Chinese technology firms such as SenseTime are helping the government effort by developing advanced cameras that use artificial intelligence to track just about everything. This knows every person, every bike, every car, every bus that goes through the frame. You can tell whether it is an adult, a child, a male or female. Police in Beijing have been wearing these glasses that can recognize faces linked to the government's national database to help boost arrests. How advanced is this technology? This is a cutting edge. Wu Fei is CEO of a company that makes the glasses. He claims he doesn't know how the government intends to use his technology. I have no idea. Really? Yes. Do you trust the government the way they're using your technology? Sorry, I can't answer this. You can't answer that. Uh, uh, this is the outside our scope of questions. All of this is coming. All of this will. Uh, we are China. They are rolling it out incrementally. Incrementally. 5G, milli millimeter wave, 
military frequency. They will be able to create digital fences in the mega regions. And, well, you will be trapped, unable to travel, unable to work, unable to do what, well, you are ordinarily doing right now in your every ordinary day. You will be prevented from that if your social credit score gets too low. And we already have a social credit system happening here in our country. It's just being rolled out incrementally. The apps on smartphones where you can rate restaurants and uh, Uber service and well look at how so many people are being prevented from renting an apartment because their credit score is too low. So this is the world that is taking shape and uh, it's very different from what <clears throat> We knew decades ago, but apparently a lot of Americans, well, they're not capable of fighting for anything. You know, even their own freedom. It's a shame. It's so scary. It's so heartbreaking to see this. San Diego, <laughs> you should be outraged at this mayor has partnered with the Marine Corps, all of the unmanned uh, drones. My God. Well, I'll link below to everything. You should watch the uh, full videos, do some research, <coughs> excuse me, to find out what's, what's taking shape. But it's taking shape all over. It's not just San Diego. It is in every mega region, let's say the Texas Triangle, you got um, you got Austin, you got Houston, you got Dallas, I think it, uh, I think San Antonio, all smart cities, cities, all smart cities, Atlanta, all of the surveillance cameras are up and already collecting data on all of you in those cities think about New York the data is collected do not think that your infractions whatever the government doesn't like don't think it's not going to come back and bite you in the tuchus and suddenly you find out you can't travel you can't send your children to private school you can't do anything on that note, have a great day.